Hey Diamonds, it's Sheree here, your Star Director, and welcome to day two of our Leap to Lead program. Most of us join Sensi because it's a personal growth business. We're drawn to it because we can see ways that Sensi can improve our lives and also the lives of our family. Um, think of your three Fs. You've got fun, funds, F-U-N-D-S, and also friendship. Why we join usually will fit somewhere within those three categories. I'd like you to take a moment where you think about your reason for joining, what it was that motivated you to click on that join button on somebody's website. Um, now, that if you've been a consultant for more than a couple of months, that reason may have changed, and that's okay. It's, it can be a really good thing. Um, the reason I joined Sensi was to help somebody else achieve their goals, and it was about two months into it that I discovered quite quickly I realized and saw the potential of Sensi and how it could impact on me and my family um, that my why changed significantly. And I'm so glad that it did because if it didn't change, I wouldn't be here today. Um, helping somebody else achieve a goal is not going to uh, be something that would drive me for a, a long period of time. Um, being a leader within Sensi, I've had the privilege on numerous occasions to sponsor people into the Sensi business and before they join as often as possible I like to be able to talk to them and ask them what it is they're joining for. Some of the things I've heard are so sample wise you could call them uh, taking a holiday, um, paying for dancing lessons for a child, they'd like new furniture, an extension on the house, a renovation, They'd like to pay off credit card debt. That's a good one. That's pretty motivating. Um, braces, sending their kids to a better school. And one that I hear quite often is, I just love Sensi so much. I just need to be able to buy more Sensi, so why not get it cheaper? They're all fantastic reasons, great whys for joining. Now, why is your why so important? Have a think about that. It's because it is something that brings your passion to life and it's special just to you it's unique and basically it motivates you your why it should evoke emotion I've heard the saying your why should make you cry um, my why hasn't made me cry I probably have cried a few times when I've achieved it but when you think about it it should evoke an emotion strong enough that um, you will do something like cry or smile or um, get excited I know when I um, am thinking about my why, sometimes I've caught myself, you know, driving in the car and I'm thinking about it and imagining it happening and um, I catch myself smiling and, you know, it can even make my heart rate a little bit, which is pretty cool. So I know that my why is right for me um, because it has the urgency to move me forward. It powers me forward and your why should do the same for you. Um, move you forward despite, you know, any doubts or disappointment or distractions that you will encounter along the way. And I like to call those roadblocks or obstacles, um, those things that stop us and um, from, you know, could potentially stop us from achieving what it is we're here for. Your why will keep you focused. You've got that end in mind and it stops us from becoming discouraged or, defeat, or defeated when things don't always go to plan. Um, so your why, it should motivate you, it should push you forward. Um, because it's your driving force. Now, after consultants have been um, in Sensi for a couple of months um, or, you know, or longer, it's interesting when I ask them what their why is again. Now, don't forget, I normally ask before they join and I do take note of that. And then when I talk to them later on in the business, um, often I'll hear, you know, when I say, what's your why? They'll say, oh, my, my, my why is to rank advance to their next level. And so in your case, it would be to rank advance to lead or to certified. Um, when I hear that, I do feel a little bit worried because I need them to dig deeper. Rank advancing to lead, it's not a goal. It's a strategy. You need to be able to take it a step further to how the income or reward you gain from that new rank advance is going to benefit you. What would you do with that extra income? that comes when you achieve that rank advance. Um, a strategy is something that will help you to achieve your goal. It isn't the goal itself. So the strategy helps you achieve your goal or your why. So today, 
I need you to take some time to really work out, to think about um, what it is that you want from your sensory journey. What do you need um, that you don't already have? Or what do you want that you don't already have? Choose something that evokes emotion, that makes your heart leap. Something not too small because it needs to inspire you. And if it's too small, it's not going to inspire you and it's certainly not going to inspire others um, as you help others do the same thing. If you don't feel an instant emotion that we talked about before with that goal or your why, then you need to dig deeper. Find one that lights that fire within. I've got um, a book and it's from Mary Christmas. So let me just pull it out here. And she has a really good checklist. I just want to go through them with you quickly. She says, if your goal doesn't immediately come to mind, so if you're struggling coming up with a goal, have a think of these things or ask yourself these questions. If I could make one personal wish come true, what would that be? How different my life would be if I had, sorry, how different would my life be if I had no credit card debt? Am I driving a car I deserve or the car that I can afford? If I had $10,000 in the bank today, what would I buy with it? That's pretty cool because I think that's one that helped me come up with my why. If I want a vacation anywhere in the world, where would that be? How would I feel um, to stop renting and to own my own home? If I could transform, transform one room of my house, which one would it be? Am I happy in my job? Or is it, a time, is it time to quit working and make other people and stop making other people rich? If I could make one family dream come true, what would it be? What difference would an extra $1,000 a week make in my life? So they're really good questions to help you get thinking. Um, another thing to be mindful of is I want you to keep this basic rule that you have one goal for one year. So obviously there will be smaller goals within that year that are going to help you achieve there or other strategies that are going to help you hit that goal. But you want a time frame that um, is in the foreseeable future. So you can have longer term goals, that's fine. But the why I want you to come up with today um, or to make sure that your why is where it needs to be, needs to be no longer than 12 months. Um, this program is a five week program. This is a strategy that's going to help you to achieve your why. So come up with your one goal for your 12 months, your one year. And the reason you have that is your why is like a compass. It um, keeps you focused and keeps you moving to that destination and it keeps you on course. Okay, so your challenge. I want you to picture yourself achieving that goal. The the goal your why. Ask yourself, is my goal realistic to my current circumstances? If it's out of reach, it's going to be counterproductive. It's not going to help. It needs to be something that's going to stretch you, but isn't, you know, something that definitely isn't attainable in 12 months time. Um, and then I need you to ask yourself on that too, am I prepared to put in the time and effort into achieving this goal? It's good to keep in mind too that as your business grows, so will your goal. Um, I certainly didn't um, start out with huge goals and as I've progressed and achieved goals and my business has grown, then my goals have certainly gotten bigger and bigger as you know because I share my goals. Okay, so I need you to be organised in the next 30, 34 days that are left of this challenge. So I need you to, one, get yourself a notebook. Any kind of notebook, doesn't matter. But I need it to be dedicated only to leap to lead. You might want to decorate it. You might just want to write a permanent marker on the front, leap to lead. Nothing else is to go in this notebook. Um, don't take messages for the kids on it and write it in there. This is just your book purely for leap to lead. It's a place that you're going to write your challenges down. You're going to keep track of your progress, keep notes, brainstorm, anything that you come up with from this program pop it in this book so you can find it all in the, in the one spot. Your other assignment is to, in the front page of your notebook, to write, guess what, your, write down your 2017 why, your 12-month goal. 
your very own special reason to shine this year, diamonds. And whether your dreams are financial, social, emotional, or educational, to keep them alive with an image. So I want you to do an image on your screensaver. Here's mine. Remember I told you my goal was to take my family to Salt Lake, to the States, and also to Canada. So I want them to have a white Christmas this year. So I want you to pop something onto your screensaver, or you can even do a dream board for those of you that are um, talented in the craft area. Um, but it needs to be something you'll see often and put it, so put it somewhere you'll see often. So for me, it's my phone. Otherwise, you know, um, a mirror or the on the fridge, I don't know, but you can do something. I need a visual. And I would like you to take an image of your notebook if you are feeling motivated enough and brave enough to share that, I would so appreciate you taking a photo of your goal on the front page. Um, I'll be taking note of them and that helps to hold you accountable to them as well and to the group. Um, so please take a photo of your goal in your notebook. Um, show us a picture of your notebook and take a let us see um, your dream board or your screensaver, your image of your goal as well. Keep in mind that many, many people within the Sensi business um, make six-figure salaries and you and I are absolutely on the right path that we can do the same thing and this is just one step along the way that is going to help us get to those bigger goals if that's what you want out of Sensi, if it's financial. If it's something else, then you are definitely on the right path as well because Sensi offers so much more than just financial benefits. So good luck with today. Um, hope you've checked in for yesterday's don't worry you've still got another 24 hours to do that as well um 48 hours from t from now though um i look forward to seeing your images or um if you can't do the images make sure you just make some notes in the comment section below um, so that we can see where you're at fantastic keep shining guys and i will talk to you again tomorrow